This is Adam Elik reporting from Nushera, Pakistan. I came here trying to find the relatives of Faisal Shazar, the Pakistani American charged in the failed Times Square car bombing. Villagers told me his immediate family had already left the area, sealing the gate to their sizable property. But I did find this man, Faiz Ahmed, the former village chief. You're friends with his father. All, yeah? all the time. Very good friends. Very good friends. And you're making the project together. Project about the uh, origin. Mr. Ahmed's writing a book with Mr. Shazad's father, a historical account of the family and the surrounding villages. Originally poor farmers, the family began leading a more privileged life when Mr. Shazad's father became a three-star general. And as is often the case, he was rewarded with lucrative plots of land. But about 18 months ago, Mr. Ahmed noticed a different Mr. Shazad when he visited the family in its other house in this fancy neighborhood in Peshawar. But other family friends have their own questions of a different kind. This is absolutely uh, not a true story. Kafiat Ali is a respected district lawyer. He's against militancy, but like many upper middle class Pakistanis, he believes the charges against Mr. Shahzad are part of an American plot to defame Pakistan. He has been involved in a fake case just to justify the American and the Allied forces' presence in a both sides of the Afghan border. I came here to better understand how a local boy could turn into a terrorist. But many people here insist the seed of the problem is not Mr. Shahzad's family, but the United States which has meddled in Pakistani politics for decades, including in the 1980s when it supported the Islamists.